Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you my junk journal. Um, hey, editing me here. I noticed that in my video I am missing a press-on nail. Um, so don't point it out to me. I know if you guys could just pretend you do not see it and pretend that I am a totally put-together woman for the next 15 minutes, um, that would make me feel good. Thanks. I'm sorry. And before we start, I have watched a lot of videos on like the differences between junk journals, art journals, glue books, yada yada. There's a lot of different names for collaging in a book. So I'm just going to call this a junk journal, even though it has a lot of elements of scrapbooking in it. Um, but there's a lot of junk. As you can see, I, I save a lot of packaging and envelopes and like cards with writing on it um but there's also you know ticket stubs and stuff which would be considered scrapbooking and then there's some doodles in here too so it's sort of a mishmash um if you know the proper term for it let me know i'm maybe i just that's something i missed but i'm just gonna call it a junk journal for now but you can totally correct me i won't be offended um so yeah let's just open it up and at first, I actually was using this as a sketchbook, and I eventually just started gluing stuff over it. Um, and obviously, I had a game informer in my possession, because there's a lot of, like, gamer stuff in the beginning. Um, like I said, here's a card. I have lots of cards, and I keep people's business cards, tape them in there. Um... What else do I have? Some cool envelopes. I did my best to like tape over uh, people's addresses, but there's some tickets down here. Um, they're very old and you can tell like how <laughs> nuts I am by how old a lot of these tickets are. Cause I, I've saved, I pretty much save everything. So yeah. Um, so here's a little note I got when I, oh, well, I traded uh, with an artist up here, G Mutation, but I, I'll like even save, like if you buy something from someone on Etsy, I'll save like their little notes, things like that. Um, here's a cool envelope. They like covered it with stickers. And back when I started this book, I was going to also like draw in it and Eventually that took a back seat. I, I focused more on the collage element later on, which again is more of a, a glue booking technique where um, people just glue stuff on top and don't collage with paint or things like that. So yeah, this book is, uh, it combines a lot of techniques. Um, really pretty card here. Um, here's a little note. This is from Kirby Wonders. And this washi tape is by Memento Cat on Etsy. Sorry about the dogs in the, in the uh, outside. I don't know if you can hear them. So this was probably like part of a greeting card and I just cut it out. And I tried to like put little doodles of stuff here and there to fill stuff in. Um... Back when I started, I, I thought it would be nice to, like, you know, leave space to give some focus to stuff like this. But eventually, I was like, no, I have to cover the whole thing. So, um, yeah, I regret leaving white space like this in a lot of pages. But here's another little art business card. This was a greeting card of some sort. Um, this is like a comic book, free comic book. Um, and I used to trade, uh, like artist trading cards with people online and sometimes they would give you uh, like papers and stuff to use for collage. So I, I do have a few of those left from like years ago, but I don't have that many anymore. So I like, <laughs> it's, I have really small scraps that I'm utilizing. But um, 
as you can see, I just really like saving stamps and stuff like that. Um, I used to live in DC, so I saved one of these maps. Oh, I probably see, I should have put something here, but you'll see later on I do cover stuff up. Um, so this page has an old envelope here with some stuff in it. I have an old GameStop gift card that's really cool. And then this, if you look at that, Spider-Man 2. Isn't that cool? Um, so yeah, this is from a Lunchables in 2004. Um, and that's another example of the extent of my obsessive hoarding. I have stuff from almost 20 years ago. So yeah. Um, and, and the way this happened is, you know, I would get like, let's say, uh, some stuff from Hot Topic, right? And I would keep the tags or the packaging or, you know, people's letters, stuff like that. Like I, I just couldn't let it go. Um, and I, I saved it for a really long time. I just, I didn't know what to do with it. I kept it in a box, but then I just started doing a book like this. Um, and I think it works out. I mean, I still have a lot more and obviously like I have huge areas that might seem like backgrounds to some people. Um, because like I said, I've watched a lot of those videos and people make the awesomest, uh, junk journals. So they like, they paint on top of it and stuff and it like, you know, writing and it looks super cool. Um, but in this case, I feel like I'm showcasing the object itself. So I'm not really using it as a background. I'm like, um, showcasing this as its own thing. So, um, Here's a fully covered page, and this is cool. This is a um, museum that I briefly volunteered at. Um, let's see, isn't that neat? Art, party, art. Um, and this is a different museum that I volunteered at. Um, not museum, gallery. This was just a small gallery, and uh, this guy's um, show was going at the time. Um, there's some more packaging, some more packaging, probably a greeting card or something, more ticket stubs. So definitely prefer the pages that are completely covered. Um, this was from like a cereal box or something. Oh, I have a bunch of these cards all over because I made these for Instagram once for like some challenge thing. And I just didn't know what to do with them after. So I glued them in here. I used them as like cards my daughter was a baby at the time that was like you know those like you can get the black and white uh visuals for the babies like a little books and stuff but i made my own and then uh yeah afterwards i just glued them in here does anyone remember this brand this is fang it's like a old y2k brand um this was too pretty for me to like do anything with so i left it on its own. I think these are from the same person. Here's some more. I think this is a postcard. Yeah, it's shiny. Probably Game Informer. Um, some book pages that, you know, people traded me. Oh, here's some more of that map. A greeting card, an envelope. And then I just did some ink drawings up here to fill it in. Oh, wow, that's showing up on camera. So you can't, you can't really see this um, unless you like bend it a certain way. It's like, it was like a Nike shoe advertisement and I've always like kept it because I thought it was cool. Um, but yeah, that's neat. They're like a million little dots. But then somehow it makes the shoe. <laughs> but 
This is actually a gift card cut up. So a lot of the areas in this book were starting to get too thick. I had to take out a lot of signatures. So that's something I'm more aware of now that going forward, I'll, um, I know how to deal with. I have some smaller uh, sketchbooks I can use that won't do that. It was a cool envelope. And all they did was put coloring book or uh, sorry, coloring, coloring color pencil or crayon it, it looks really nice um and I covered up the addresses but it's a tag there's an old color forms instructions there are a lot of comic book pages in here um and those were from like free comic book day comics so, no, I didn't, like, tear up a real comic or anything like that, but as I go on, I start to get, like, more color uh, stories in a way where I, like, actually match stuff. So, um, this is a bookmark from when I was in middle school. It's that old. I've, I've held on to it for that long. You can look down here, look. AOL. Isn't that funny? Oh my god, I was probably like 12 or something, but yeah, I just didn't know what to do with these things. Um, some more packaging, packaging of stickers, some photos, tickets. I used to ride the T a a lot, I had a million of these that you'd think I would have more to work with, but they must be somewhere else. I don't remember where I put them. Again, free comics, some map. Oh, this is cute. This is from um, a pair of sandals I got. They're called Bedrock Sandals. And this came with it. And I just thought it was cute. such a cute little insert. Um, obviously not sponsored. I just, I just, I really like those sandals. Um, this is from a uh, Chipotle bag and if you recognize the artist it's Death Peace Son um and at the time I was like oh my god and I <laughs> saved the bag because yeah I thought that was so cool um I thought this was a really cute wrapping paper so I kept that and some more collage stuff this was like a postcard or something I was trying to be cool here, but I don't like this page. I, I don't know how to fix it. Pretend it's not there. Um, some more packaging and random stuff. That's Mazda Mundi. Mazda Mundi. Okay, this is from uh, my mom's boyfriend went to like a 90s themed wedding and they had like centerpieces made of like uh jewel cd cases filled with like 90s stuff and this was in there like on like a stick so i he gave me that i don't know i was like oh my god that's so cool um some more packaging i always thought that was neat from like a pencil case i got this is like uh probably like a chinese brand or something that my mother-in-law bought my daughter ton of clothes from this website i don't know what it was but they had these super cute tags and obviously this is just a little doodle some more of that chipotle bag um this is a mint wrapper from melon mushroom pretty cute um i don't i don't remember where this came from Oh, obviously it was from a mega box set, but yeah, here's some more packaging, um, ticket stubs. I actually have a whole envelope full of ticket stubs. I just, I'm, I'm like being so gentle with it, but it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to it. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a whole book, just either full of the ticket stubs or I don't know, maybe another one of these, but heavy use of the ticket stubs. Here's someone's business card. I, it was probably from like eBay or something. I don't even know. Um, but I thought it was cute. So, you know, I'm going to keep it. Um, 
cool tea wrapper. Anywho. Uh, I think this is my favorite page in the whole book. Um, I don't know. I, I think this just really works the way everything is overlapping. And obviously I have these old tattoos that I just couldn't bring myself to use. Um, oh man, here's some more really old stuff. These are from probably like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 or 3 or 1 back when the PS2 games came in the jewel cases, you know, like a CD case. So, and they had these inserts in there. So for advertisements for stuff. So, okay, this, there's Pro Skater 2. But um, yeah, I kept those obviously a really long time. And there's one of them right there. Oh, and if you notice, uh, the backings to stickers are great to keep too. You can use the negative space in those. So that's what that is. This page is working color wise, I guess. Um, some doodles to fill in the space. Oop, skip the page. Some more greeting cards. Oh, these are Salvation Army tags. And you can tell that they're old because they don't got nothing for a dollar at Salvation Army anymore. It's so expensive. Like, I remember back when I used to go when I was a teenager, you could get, like, t-shirts they'd be a dollar, and then you'd go on, like, the 50% off day. You could get them for 50 cents, but it's not like that anymore. Oh, no, no. It's so sad. Okay. Uh, some more packaging. Little tags. And is that the last? That is the last. I, I, was, I have more stuff in here, but um, I'll just have to get to it in another book because, like I said, I have more stuff. I wish I had more of a brain of a... Uh, I just don't have the imagination to really get in there with, you know, paint and stuff and like, and treat that, treat it as a background. I just can't. So I'm just going to do it the way I'm doing it. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of the drawings seem like afterthought and that's because they were. I was just trying to fill space. So yeah, let me know. Is this a junk journal? Let me know what it's called. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.